Okay, we're here with Nicole Cullen at the 2011 Sydney Equitana. G'day, how are you going? Good, really good. Excellent, have you been enjoying the show? I've absolutely loved it. What's been your favourite part? Probably your parts. <laughs> I, I was hoping that's what you would say, and, and that what, and we didn't pre-organise no, that. No, that... not at all. I've tried to get to all of them. I've got a young stallion I'm trying to do, so I'm getting a lot of ideas. So. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Now, I've got, uh, you know, you're a Paralympian. You've uh, represented Australia at Beijing in 2008 and the Worlds in 2007, where you picked up a couple of medals. Uh, yeah. It's been very good. And at the at Games last year, at the World Equestrian Games, yep. you've been very successful. What's been, I guess, your highlight in your um, mind? Probably actually getting the medals at the Worlds in 07. Yep. Um, we got the silver and bronze and... It was on a lone horse and everything, so oh, yep. everything was sort of against us and we did really well. So, For all your games, have you always been on a lone horse or have you carted um, your own horse? At the start, I went to a Belgian comp, a four-star in Belgium, and then the Worlds after that, yep. the year after, and both of those were lone horses mm -hmm. um, where it's just dressage horses that have been found and we have to be able to ride them and everything. They're not trained for para riders or wow. anything. None of our horses are. Yep. Um, we just have to work out ways around our sort of disabilities to make sure we're giving the right aids to the horses. So That's incredible. Yeah, it's fun. In Belgium, we had a week. Yeah. Um, so about five hours of training to get used to the horse um, before we were competing in a four-star. Yep. But then since Beijing Games mm -hmm. in Hong Kong, um, and the last wig in 2010, that was actually on my own horse. That's unbelievable. To be able to just get a horse up and going in a, in a week and, and compete, um, you know, is it, it's, it's awesome. Totally inspirational, I think. <laughs> um, I, we struggle to do our shows with, <laughs> with our ponies. I think we probably could show some footage of that. Peter's got some good footage of them doing their own deal. Yeah. Um, so the other side of it, where do you go from here? Well, we were actually aiming for London. Yep. Um, unfortunately, we've had a bit of some horse issues. The fact that I don't actually have a horse at the moment. Um, at WEG, I, my health really deteriorated over the last few years, yep. but it really hit home just how far it's gone down, and I've gotten a lot weaker. So you're still looking for a horse? Definitely. Right. <laughs> Definitely. Right. What's, and what's the requirements? <laughs> something that's light. In yep. the hands um, and responsive. I my both my hands and wrists are dead. I can't feel or move them, and I wear prosthetic legs when I actually ride. Um, they've just got to be light to the aids and not too spooky and yep. stuff like that. All right, Nicole, I've got some quick questions for you. Throw yep. at you. <laughs> First one: Have you got a nickname? Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Okay. The last book or magazine you read really doing my own paperwork at the moment so the last thing I've got to read. <laughs> the last thing you read is paperwork, that's a good one. Yeah. What can't you live without? My horses and my yeah. animals and my mum. She's my full time carer as well and she does all the hard labour work, it's only me and her on the 100 acre property with the horses yep. and yeah. Good so. plug for mum there. Yeah. <laughs> Other pets? Lots. <laughs> um, dogs, cats, bird. And the horses. True animal lover, excellent. If you could trade places with any other person for a week, famous or not famous, living or dead, real or fictional, with whom would it be? Probably someone with working hands and legs. <laughs> <laughs> so I could go on a nice endurance ride. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that, that works, that narrows it down a little bit. Yep. If, if you could be a superhero, what would your superhero powers be? Probably just to keep me going longer each day, yeah. Um, so I can get more done. I think. Yeah, just be able to stop time when that be handy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or turn it back. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, turn it back. I reckon I just stop time and sleep all day. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Have to catch up. Uh, where are we up to now? If you could invite three people uh, to dinner, living or dead, who would they be? Um, I suppose this sort of probably a sad type of one but I actually lost my son um, who was five days old in 2003 um, so he'd definitely be one just so I could hold him again and also some horse people I'd love to sort of sit down with and yep. you guys would definitely be there. Well, we could come along we would have to probably serve the food and <laughs> you can't cook but we could, we could wait on everybody maybe no, be the clowns definitely. and jesters. <laughs> Favourite yep. TV show? 
Uh, anything action? Yeah, I'm oh, yeah. an action junkie. Yeah, like yeah. all those spy things where they, yeah, yeah get, get into it. it. <laughs> get into a bit of that. Uh, movie, favourite movie? Uh, any horse movie. Uh, favourite drink? At the moment it's Ribena, but if it's alcoholic, it's Kalura milk. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> can interpret it any way, that one. <laughs> yeah. uh, favourite holiday destination? I've always wanted to go to Canada. Yep. I've wanted to go to um, Vancouver and also to the Calgary Stampede. <laughs> well, thanks, Nicole. It's been a great interview. Thanks yep. for your time and, and I hope you enjoy the rest of Equitana. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it and you guys are doing a great job here too. Oh, thank you very much for that. Yep. Thanks.